Hey guys, so in this video you see 13 horns and a few horn strobes. Today we will find out which one sounds the best or worst on my Firelight Miniscan 124 panel. This is the panel I've had for a little while now. It's been in storage a little while and decided to pull it back out and maybe rebuild the system and eventually show that. As you, could, as you probably saw, there's a newer pull station I have attached to it. A new pull station to me anyway. I'll talk about that later. So, as you know, this being an older panel, it puts out FWR power. And if you know anything about mechanical horns, you'll know that FWR power tends to make them sound a little raspy, where they'll produce maybe a funny noise or a terrifying noise. <laughs> so, as I said earlier, we'll find out which one makes the best or worst noise. And, uh, interestingly, I figure since this is also just a little horn, we'll figure, why not? The, uh, Simplex, I forget the model number, I only know that it's a Gentex GX90, rebranded by Simplex. So we'll give it a shot and see if it compares to these. Now, just a little, one last word before we get started. I did get about four, to, four or five devices with this panel when I removed it, or, no, when it was removed for me, I should say. I got this... Faraday horn, these two, well, they used to be Federals. This one's rebranded by Spectronics, and they fell over. And this probably also was a Spectronic, but the label is gone. And then I got this, the 34T. 34T, obviously it has the junction, and it has the older, I think it's the non-Vandal resistant, or if the Vandal resistant one had more, more of that filled up. So, we shall get started with the devices that originally came with this panel. First up is the Faraday 6020. Next up is the Spectronics 450D. Next up, unfortunately, was going to be this Federal Horn, but I think it's kicked the bucket. Tried loosening the volume screw on it, and I think this poor old horn finally gave in. It's a real shame, this is one of my favorite ones. Well, rest in peace, little guy. Next up is my Wheel Lock 34T. See? Terminal. Next up is my Wheel Lock 7002, or rebranded by Gamewell. Next up is my Simplex 4051. Sounds more like a 4040 on FWR. Next up is another unhappy alarm. 2901-9806 horn on a 2903 light plate. Seems like this horn doesn't like FWR either. Unlike the other horn, I know this one works because I tested this one on a 24 volt power supply beforehand. So, yeah, another one bites the dust. Next up is a 2901-9838 horn. This is one of two of them. Here is my other 9838 horn. Next up is my Gentex GMS. Uses a similar mechanism to this. Here's my Simplex 4903-9217, which has the same horn as the GMS.
Next up, Simplex 2901 9806 horn on a 2903 strobe plate. This one actually works. <laughs> And yes, that strobe is fast. Last but not least, my rebranded Gentex GX90. Rebranded by Simplex. And that is horrible sounding. <laughs> so in conclusion, there's everything kind of strewn about in a mess. So what we have learned, the GX90 doesn't mind uh, FWR power and these federal 450Ds you have a two out of four chance of it actually sounding <laughs> I know they all work so that's the thing only two of them seem to have actually liked the FWR so yeah so thank you for watching and have a nice day hey guys this is just a little follow-up to the video I just finished so long story short I filmed that video roughly two years ago and I've talked to fire alarm collectors since then. And I kept saying that this has a problem of putting out FWR power. But in truth, it could also be the fact that this uh, panel, the uh, capacitor inside of it is going bad. Which, is also cause, which could also cause these horns to go raspy. Because this thing had been in use since 1984. And I think they replaced it 2016. Yeah, somewhere around there. And since then, I've gotten a few new devices, like two of them here, a Wheelock 7002T and a Wheelock 7001 rebranded by Pyrotronics. If you're interested, uh, that's all it says. HSD24F, yep. So, I will do a part two, because I have this, these two plus, ooh, um four or five more devices to test so that should be fun to try on this panel <laughs> and i said i was going to make a system out of it but right now i've kind of put it aside because i'm working on something else right now so here it just hangs quietly kind of as a storage for my junk so yeah so hopefully in the future i'll be able to do a little more filming sorry it's freezing cold out here because that was May of 2020 where it was nice and warm. It's now January 2022 and it's about 20 degrees. So it's a little cold. My jacket is not thick enough apparently. So like I said, I'm going to do a follow-up. I'll do a part two for you guys so you can hear some more horns on this old panel. Just to get an idea of what they sound like uh, raspy. So that should be fun. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.